Okay, so this video is going to be some additional examples on solving equations, so it's optional. You can either try all four of these examples and then watch the video to see if you've done them correctly, or you can um, you can watch me go through them and, and go through them with me at the same time. Otherwise, you can just go on to the work for this uh, session. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do the flow charts for these ones. I'm just going to work through them algebraically. So if you want an explanation of the flow charts, let me know and I'll upload some videos of those as well. Okay, first question, 3G plus 4 is equal to 16. First thing I need to deal with is this plus 4, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. Doing that leaves me with 3G on the left, and 16 minus 4 is 12 on the right, uh, and then I've just got 3G is equal to 12, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3, Okay, that gives me g is equal to 4. Second example, a minus 2 divided by 4 is equal to 7. Last thing we did here was divide by 4. So the first thing I'm going to do now is multiply both sides by 4. Okay, that cancels out my denominator. So I'm left with a minus 2 is equal to 7 times 4, which is 28. And then I just need to add 2 to both sides to give me a is equal to 30. Example 3, I've got 2x divided by 3 plus 5 equals 7. First thing I need to do is deal with that plus 5, so I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides to give me 2x divided by 3 is equal to 7 minus 5 is 2. Then I've got 2x divided by 3, so I've got to multiply both sides by 3. Okay, that cancels those out to give me 2x is equal to 6. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to give me a final answer of x is equal to 3. Last example, I've got uh, brackets here, so I'm going to start by expanding the brackets. 4 times 2t is 8t, and 4 times minus 1 is minus 4, and that is equal to 24. And then I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Okay, so that leaves me with 8t is equal to 28 and then I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So you'll notice in this case that 28 divided by 8 doesn't go in um, doesn't go in evenly so what I can do is I can make this a mixed fraction so 8 goes into 28 three times Okay, with four left over, so I get three and four eighths, and I should always reduce fractions if I can. So three and four eighths, four eighths reduces to a half. Sorry, that's a bit squished in there, but my final answer there is three and a half. 